Uh, I've been riding sleds since I was a little kid. Used to ride uh, my little Skidoo 300 to the bus stop when I was a little little guy. But I uh, started taking things serious about uh, 13 or 14 years ago uh, with the introduction of Slednex. Slednex actually began right here at Togety Mountain Lodge. I uh, started out with Polaris about four years ago, um, shooting a lot of their uh, their catalog stuff and, and just being a talent rider for their mountain division of snowmobiles. And it's grown into them sponsoring me and supporting me with my, my latest venture of teaching people how to ride. If it's, uh, you know, it's, it's terrain. It's, it's such a steep area to be in that uh, you have to adapt and overcome or you're not going to be able to go anywhere in the mountains. So um, I've just had years of experience of doing it. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, school of hard knocks and, and getting to the, you know, to the level of rider that I am now, it's, it's a lot of broken bones, it's a lot of broken sled parts, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a passion of mine that, uh, you know, it's taken me a lot of places and uh, I've met a lot of great people and it's, uh, it's definitely uh, something that I uh, hold true, true to me. You gotta work hard and, you know, the snowmobiling's not gonna give you anything. You'll get out of it what you put into it. The thing that I really enjoy teaching is just the avalanche safety and awareness portion of this. Uh, this is not a Disneyland ride. My advice, first and foremost, is to do your homework, and you know, don't come out here unprepared. And if you, uh, you know, if you decide that you want to, you know, come out here and spend more time in the backcountry, and you don't want to just ride the trails, then I suggest you start learning things the right way from the beginning. Because uh, a lot of us uh, that started Slednex, and, uh, and a big part of the, you know, the group of guys that I that I ride with now, we've all learned the hard way. And so my clinics are about teaching people how to get started the right direction. And I think that the learning curve uh, becomes a lot faster. Uh, people learn a lot more about avalanche safety and awareness. And they respect the mountains. They respect Mother Nature. And it's going to save the sport. Yeah! It keeps the sport alive. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, this is Dan Adams. I'm here at the Pink Ribbon Ride in Togety Mountain Lodge, and you're watching Snow Trails TV.